Welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are visiting our neighbors and fellow Texans in Rio Doso, New Mexico. And for our next stop, we're taking a bite to eat at a local favorite with a Texas tie. Okay, gang, so this is Tina's Cafe. And let me just say, I'm already falling in love with the rustic vibe here. It feels so homey. But I also heard that this is the best place to learn about the New Mexican cuisine. And I'm hungry. The green and red chilies are the highlight of each dish. Something I want you to try here. This is our green chili chicken puff pastry. Oh my goodness. This is unique to Tina's Cafe and it features Tina's green chili cream sauce. Oh, perfect. Okay, and I want to warn you right away, eating at Tina's is a marathon, not a sprint, okay? <laughs> I've got some great other stuff for you to try. Enjoy this. Perfect, thank you. All served and cooked to perfection. Oh 10, 10. The green chili sauce, it's nice and creamy with that flaky pastry and the meat right in between just, oh my goodness, it all ties together so perfectly. And with lunch behind us, it was off to the great outdoors. And what better way to get the lay of the land than with a Texas native at Happy Hiker. I did grow up in Texas. I grew up in, in Austin and enjoyed the Austin atmosphere for many years, but I was also a coach and teacher and coach and teachers have to move. So hey. we're, we're Texas folks. You know. <laughs> my wife and I played a game and it was, if we lived in this town, what would we do? And, and could our kids come and visit us? Right. And Rio Dos was just the best fit. I'm excited. That's great. And I don't know if I'm supposed to hook them because I'm from <laughs> Austin. I, I got two daughters at Lubbock or whatever, but uh, we, we do love Texas, and, uh, but Rio Dos is our new home. With over 280 trails to choose from, Happy Hiker will get you set for what's ahead of you. All right, so we are at the head of Perk Trail, four miles round trip of what's supposed to be some pretty cool terrain. So, got my water and my walking stick. Let's hit the trips. After spending some time with Mother Nature and really taking in that spectacular scenery, you can truly understand why they call this place the Playground of the Southwest. Our third day in New Mexico takes us to see even more of the beautiful region. With miles of trails, Rio Doso is the perfect staging area for a day in a saddle. Today we're going to be uh, going around Grindstone Lake, which has um, 18 miles of trail, and it's, um, it's a combination of a cross-country trail and a hiking trail. So we're going to be encountering uh, natural obstacles. Uh, there's going to be some, it's all single track, so it's a little tight, and that's what makes it really exciting and, yeah. um, and very, um, you almost feel like you're in a backcountry type setting. Okay. So it all from the convenience of within just a few miles of the center of town. Where are you originally from though? El Paso, Texas. Yeah, yeah. Texans. All right. All yeah. right. got your lesson, looks like you got your gear. Yes. About ready to get out and check out the trail. I'm a little nervous. Don't be, this is a beginner trail that we're gonna start you off on. Okay. A few rocks along the way, but anything that looks a little too challenging, don't be afraid to uh, just step off to the side of the bike on the uphill side. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm ready, let's do okay. this. From beginner to advanced, there's a wide variety of mountain bike trails with more pathways added every year. No wonder why Rio Doso is quickly becoming a mountain bike mecca in southern New Mexico. All right, Woo, that was an adrenaline rush and a nice little workout too. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. But our next stop is somewhere where I get to relax a little. So I'm gonna head back in. In need of a little R&R, then you've come to the right place. All right, so I'm standing in front of Sanctuary on the river, and after a bike ride like that, I am so ready to let loose and unwind. So, who's with me? Located in the beautiful village of Rio Doso, Sanctuary on the River takes a holistic approach to overall health by using healing and rejuvenating treatments to pamper the mind, body, and soul. We always say we, because we are an inspired living center that we can take care of you in just a myriad of ways. And of course the spa, we have massage therapy, facials, uh, we do a lot of wet treatments, body wraps, and of course our newest thing that we've added this year is our soaking tub room that you got to see earlier. Wow. Yes, it's quite <laughs> lovely. And we just added a hypnotherapist 
and she works a lot with pain management and smoking cessation, a lot of great things. This is Rhonda Allison's line. It's a rosemary herbal cleanse. It's very good for the skin. It will help moisten everything. Oh, we use a lot of the doTERRA essential oils and essential oils, of course, have such healing capabilities and combined with massage therapy, it's just, again, essential. Not to play on words there, <laughs> but it's very important for healing. That was exactly what the doctor ordered. I always love a good aromatherapy, but you know what I find really relaxing also? Is retail therapy. Let's go.